gotta be so indecisive Why you gotta be, why you gotta be, yeah. I just wanna stop all the fighting I just wanna stop all the fighting And you don't know what you want And you don't know what you're fighting for And maybe you're the one Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today I'm starting off with this Benefit Pore Eraser Primer. And I'm just using this to, you know, prime my face. So then I went in with the She Glam Foundation. So this She Glam Foundation is basically a sister brand of Sheen. Or it's like a brand under Sheen, basically. So I don't know if I'm saying it right, but Sheen. You know that place everyone's been buying clothes for recently. So this is their makeup brand and this foundation was more of a matte foundation but it wasn't like too drying so even if you have dry skin I would advise this foundation so next I'm going in with a sleek highlighter I'm just putting this on like my cheekbones because I feel like I kind of wanted like a glow from within I kind of just want something to like glow underneath my skin especially because it was a matte foundation next I went in with this um, Too Faced concealer so I went in with two shades, I went in with chestnut first and then I went in with butterscotch but when I look at this now like I feel like I could have just used butterscotch. Then I went in with this Makeup Evolution foundation stick in the shade F18 and I just used this to contour, yeah I kind of felt like cream contouring today. Just being a little bit extra. This cream contour just blends out amazingly. Like you guys can see that literally look. It's literally disappearing. Like I'm not even having to like press too hard with my beauty blender. So now I was going in with the other shade in Butterscotch and then I was just kind of like making sure my contour and my foundation kind of blended together. I didn't want it to be too harsh. Then I went in with this Laura Mercier um, translucent powder in Hunt Translucent Honey and then I'm just pressing this into my skin, setting my concealer. Guys, Laura Mercier is just on a different level when it comes to setting powders. Like, can you guys see this under eye? Like, it's so smooth. Like, if you don't have Laura Mercier setting powders in your kit, you need it. So the first shade I went in was called Mug Shot. So I went in with my first shade and I was kind of just blowing this out all over my eyelid, kind of just, this was like my transition colour. I really, really love that colour, like, just by itself, like, it's so beautiful, it's so warm and it's just so nice, but, you know, I had to, you know, make this look different. So then I went in with this shade called Secret. So with this shade, I'm kind of just putting this more in my crease and I wanted this more, like, direct, I didn't want this anywhere else but the crease I wanted this to be precise so if you guys can see I'm using a smaller brush now I went in with the first shade I used and yeah I kind of just used that to blend over it just to that blend the two shades together so it wasn't as harsh but obviously I still wanted the darkness to come through from the um, second shade so I kind of went for like a winged out cut crease today so just something a bit more dramatic. And then I went with this like nude shade from another Jaclyn Hill palette, the Volume 2 palette. And I just started packing this on into the crease. And then I just went back in with the the secret shade just to kind of make sure the darkness is still there and just to make sure it's sharp so I was going in back with those shades just to kind of like smoke out my lower my lash line areas
Next, I will now display TP Beauty's um, powder foundation in the shade 410, and I was just kind of using this to set my foundation. So I'm now going in with the Revolution Pro Sculpt and Bronzer in the shade and Red. Just using this to warm up my face. So now I'm going in with the She Glam um, blush as well. This blush was actually really, really pretty. I cannot remember the name of it right now, but I'm definitely going to add it in the description below so you guys can check it out now i'm going with the professional superstar setting spray this is a new um setting spray from benefit it's like a mist so i did kind of have to go a bit heavy with it just to make sure it was setting so now this is the fun part i'm going in with the diamonds just to kind of like jazz up this look and just take it to another level so i was kind of just guessing my placement i didn't really have like a specific placement i wanted it to look but i just wanted it to look cute and nice so i kind of mixed the match shades here as you can see i'm using a bigger one for like the inner corner and i'm just kind of just messing around with it So now I'm going with my usual lip liners, which is Morphe and um, Vibes and Trendsetter. So I mix a mix of both of them today. So I just went in with this nude gloss just to finish the look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.